we can talk about Cenozoic era mammals of Louisiana because whenever we talk about Louisiana, we know that Louisiana only really formed in the Cenozoic era and most of it's sediment. So like finding fossils is kind of difficult, but we have found some in Louisiana. So you can kind of see what prehistoric life was like, especially where we're at in South Louisiana. One of the things to know is actually that one of the best ever fossilized remains of a prehistoric whale was actually found in Louisiana by Monroe. This is a Basilosaurus, which was one of the earlier marine mammals found, and they mistakenly assumed that it was a reptile. But as you can look at it, if you think about the images of whales earlier, you can clearly see it's a whale. Now, in South Louisiana, where we live, on the Pleistocene terraces, where we're at in South Central and Southwest Louisiana, you had a whole lot of these larger megafauna wandering around that only went extinct 10,000 years ago or so. For example, you had Glyptodons, which were these really big armadillos. You had saber-toothed cats, including Smilodons. You also had Camelops, or American camels. You had the ancestors of horses. Yes, even giant sloths were around in South Louisiana, which they've actually found giant sloth bones on Avery Island. You also had elephants, where we, whether we're talking about woolly mammoths or American mastodons. We found evidence of that at Jefferson Island, the Salt Dome, as well as Avery Island. And also, interestingly enough, in terms of the American mastodon, is we actually found one in Lafayette in 1970. And so if you're wondering where this place is at in Lafayette, it's along the Vermilion River. Uh, it's right by the airport. So once you pass the airport and you make the curve and cross over the Vermilion River, you look and see like an old abandoned warehouses and stuff on your left. That's the trappy plant. And on that pond that you see right there is where it was found. Here 